Residente. Presidente. Citizens of Tropico, I would like to address you in this crucial time of our development. In these dire times, we have managed to pull through and have economic growth despite all adversity. I salute you for that fact. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The shacks in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Still, as Presidente, I have worked hard day and night done quite a job to ensure my worth for the responsibility you have bestowed on me. Gracias, amigos. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come after the victory, and I have plans for tomorrow. As part of my reform plan, for my next mandate, I will focus on preserving the natural beauty. There is no need to go on talking. Our victory is secure. It was a wise move. <laughs> Now, Presidente, this is something which does not happen every day.
I want to know what those beasts are doing in our country. The spitting, vile fiends. One of them bit me on my way here. Oh, you mean those cute, cuddly camels. I think a foreign dignitary sends them as a token of the good relations between our countries. <laughs> My dear Presidente, Congratulations! Presidente, do you want your... Heed the warning of Mother Nature. Presidente! Venerable leader, somebody... Do you feel lonely without your bear, President? Why don't you try President Day cereal? Completely organic for people like you, Sonny. It's made from stuff that even animals won't eat. No cereal can be organic enough. The Presidente brand doing okay then? Sure. Presidente's so popular, everything with his name sells. <laughs> Presidente.
The rebels are launching. Toma un bocadillo de granada. Abajo con el poder. Toma un bocadillo de granada. Presidente, propaganda that is not ours. Breaking news. The rebels have just occupied a media building. What is happening to freedom of speech? Do not worry, Sonny. Freedom of speech will return when the army retakes the media. <laughs>
vida Ay, qué pena me da Que solo tuyo es mi par Mejor yo me marcho Estaba yo pensando En travesuras de la vida Me suplico a mi Dios querido Que no me deje volver Jamás contigo Y cumbia Congratulations, friends. The rebels are launching an attack. Are you a rebel? Are you tired of El Presidente's army beating you left, right, and center? You need bigger guns, and we are selling. If you call in the next five minutes, you will also receive a patriotic flag and a free detonator.
Sí. Calamity, President! Our society... Congratulations! The rebels are launching an attack. Residente are treasure. The rebels are launching an attack.
Что куры? Buenos días. Ajá. We received a crumpled note written in very bad English, Presidente. Why are we doing this again? The bomb squad won't make it in time, and we're the only ones who are qualified enough to deal with the bomb threat. I've never disarmed bombs before. Isn't it extremely dangerous? It's very easy, actually. You cut all the wires and run as fast as you can. You said you care for the people. Many dictators, all of them dead. Do you believe in the cause of La Revolución? Do you believe that everyone... Presidente! Did you sleep well, Presidente? Presidente. A decisive victory! Oh, 
solo. Presidente. Presidente. Ice Tropicans. The importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The shacks in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them, and it will be resolved as will all others in time as the global economy stabilizes. Still, as Presidente, I have worked hard day and night, done quite a job to ensure my worth for the responsibility you have bestowed on me. Gracias, amigos. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come after the victory, and I have plans for tomorrow. I promise you that in my next term, people will no longer have to live in shacks. A warm embrace to all, especially the ladies. My dear President, do you believe in the cause of La Revolución, President? You said you care for the people. Many dictators. Did you sleep well, Presidente? Presidente, we have built... The rebels are launching an attack.
Sí. Presidente. We received a crumpled note written in very bad... A decisive victory for our brave soldiers, Commandante. I'm a scat man. To say you care for the people. Sometimes people are so misguided that they are easily manipulated by others. Marco Moreno is a true revolutionary and a good man, but he is blind to the fact that his actions are steered by others. Moreno was sent to overthrow me. He even had the audacity to abduct El Tucan. In the end, I triumphed over his precious revolution. Now Moreno is my pawn, and I will use him to realize my revenge. I've always wanted to have a minion, other than Penultimo, that is. I don't know how, but he found me. Generalissimo Santana, my old mentor, knows my true identity. It's not enough that he stabbed me in the back. Now he is threatening to sell me out to the UN if I don't meet his demands. Blackmail is such an ugly tool, but Generalissimo is not known for his finer points. It looks like I will have to play his game, at least for now. I will find a way to foil his plot and make him pay for his betrayal. I suspect that Santana was also the one who sent Marco Moreno after me. I can just picture the Generalissimo surprise when I send him my new minion and his revolution. <laughs> You know well who I am. I know well who you are, amigo. Let's say China. 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 China.
Another fine day in sunny Tropico, the most beautiful island in the Caribbean. This is TNT. I am Sunny Flowers, and my co-host Penultimo is somewhat busy right now. No, Presidente. Yes, Presidente. Anything, Presidente. Time for some music, I guess. You know who I am, amigo. Presidente, I know that you're... Si tuviese diez años menos... Thank you. 
My dear President. Presidente, do you know that communication is vital?